My subject is plant reproduction regarding establishment, persistence and spread of non-native species. I want to know how hormones can mediate attractive traits within male individuals and whether being attractive makes you a really good dad. Well, the general question of my research is how do insects perceive odors? I'm looking at how far and where fruit bat deposit seed from the food that they eat. How do ants assess temperature from the environment? I want to see the effect of noise on birds. How does the environment affect the movement of animals? How can very closely related bats coexist without too much competition? My focus is in singing behavior, so how to integrate everything. What is happening in the brain, what is happening with the hormones, and the behavior and the environment. As we know, many plants were introduced to new regions. Some of them have become invasive and very problematic. So it is interesting to know why some plants were successful and the others not. There are structures of the brain related with singing behavior that change a lot during the year. And this is very important to know in general, not only in birds, how the mechanisms of behavior work. It's important to know what is going on about noise since the world is getting noisier and noisier. And everybody, not just birds, but we all have to deal with, with this issue. For females, there is a great consequence in choosing the right partners because if you don't choose the right partners that advertise parental care, then you could end up raising a brood by yourself. The brood bat, it migrate long distances seasonally. So from their behavior, the distance they move and the food that they eat, they play a very critical role for seed dispersal that results in sustaining the ecosystem. The environment is being modified and animals have to deal with these changes and their environment becomes uh, also partly unsuitable but it's not black and white, it's a grayscale and we can't distinguish it clearly what is more suitable or what is less suitable. The human brain is the most complex entity in the known universe and we are very far away from having understood how our brain actually works. So we use the model of the insect to lay the first foundations of understanding how neural networks do their task. Every time you think about, okay, it's just electric impulses, but no, it's more, it's leading to a decision, it's going further, it's going to a behavior. And this is still fascinating in neurobiology. I want to know how the interaction of animals and environment take place, how this occurs. This is my main motivation. Every aspect of the work I'm doing now can be translated into direct action to improve how the species can survive and how the habitat in which they live can survive. Maybe with my work I can give a little something to nature. The best thing about the IMPRS is the diversity. It's not only countries, it's cultural background, it's ethnics, it's religion. PhD work can be a very lonely process, but it's nice knowing that you're a part of a bigger scientific community. Where you know everybody else is struggling with the same, similar things as you are. You know, if you have a problem, you know whom to go to, because people are just interested to help you out. And then also the opportunity they give you to develop your soft skills. Having all the different method courses where we can learn statistics, where we can learn how to give good presentations, where we learn how to deal with the situation of being on a video. <laughs> we can talk about science, talk about any other things in life, and that is very important to form your personality, not only as a biologist. Fieldwork takes a lot of energy, a lot of determination, a lot of self-discipline as well. If you work with a bat, you have to work every night and that's exhausting. 
you have to cope with frustration periods, with periods everything is breaking down and everything is really bad. Often you get tangled up in these little small details that are really annoying and frustrating. You have to have a focus, so your overall aim, and of course you have to be open-minded. You cannot give granted the things you need to try and probably you will have a surprise, but it's a result anyway, and it's valid. You have to keep things in perspective to see that it's not that bad as your day might have been. <laughs> you have so much work that at the end you really want to respond to the question you have. My profession is to gain knowledge. I want to know it and this is the reason and this is reason enough.